And one of the things that I, I thought is settling in now is every time you guys go back to these characters, they get more human. There is that right. moment, and it's extraordinary in the middle of the film between Mark and Scarlet. And I think that might be the most human moment in any of the Marvel oh, films. So I'm glad to hear you say that. But you have to earn that. You have to get there and yeah. have history with them. And it's really right. nothing you can do until you've had that history. Right. It's uh, in the in the Marvel offices, which right over there. Um, uh, not a lot of not a lot of uh, fringes there, but we, there are TVs that were built in by Disney before we got there, and we run the the movies on them. So the only time I really get to go back and look at our movies is when I'm going from office to office or, or conference room to conference room, and I'll catch a, a glimpse of it. And this and the and the Scarlet fight in Iron Man Two was running on one, mm. and I thought about that scene in this movie and how far she's come from this mysterious woman that flips around and kicks people in a white hallway in Iron Man Two to that scene in yeah. this movie, and and it, it made me very. Uh, uh, proud of that journey um, for her um, and for and for all of these movies a and also just Mark and Scarlett at the top of their game and Joss writing that scene at the top of, uh, of his game and, and, and you know willing to put that kind of a scene in the middle of what comes before that and what comes after that you know very big spectacle so it was great well and I, I feel like that is that is ultimately what Joss pulls off with this one that I, I find <clears throat> kind of remarkable is there, there's nine million plates spinning in this movie. Right. And yet, it feels more intimate than any of the other films. That's great. Um, for you personally, and I know that this is something you've been working towards for a long time, how great a sense of just relief was there to finally announce who Doctor Strange was going to be? Uh, it was, well, the relief for me or always... excitement. Well, the relief and the excitement always comes when it's, when we actually get it, when we... When we announce it, 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 sometimes it leaks. Sometimes we don't announce it for a while. And by that point, I've gone through all the emotional journey. So when it's announced, it sort of is what it is. But, but I will tell you that actually getting him um, was a huge sigh of relief for me. Um, I just know uh, how important that character's been to you for, for so long. And it's been one that you've always kind right. of mentioned. As, You're right. Hey, it's been ten, get there. Yeah, 10 years. What else? Yeah. Someday. <laughs> um, Guardians was, that, was the answer to that question for many years, too. Um, but there is, a matter of fact, Scott Derrickson and, and executive producer Stephen Broussard and, uh, and much of the production team are on a scout as we speak for that movie. We start filming in November, um, and Benedict is, uh, is, uh, is uh, it's sort of unbelievable. And he also, by the way, is, for as excited we were to, to, to get him in the, in the picture, um, he was that excited to be a part of the picture. And he comes in and looks at some of the early artwork and is, he's like a kid. I'm like... You're the star of the movie, you know. Okay, hold on, slow down. He turns into a fanboy. The, the other thing that I, I have to ask at this point is, how does it feel when you look at the landscape of modern Hollywood and realize you guys literally are the model everyone else is chasing at this point? Because there was a point where they yeah. must have told you, this can't work. You can't possibly put all this together. Well, I, I, th I much prefer being in that world, to yeah. be honest with you, um, because it is a, I love sort of defying expectations. Um, uh, which sort of happened early on with certainly with I mean, certainly with the notion of becoming our our own studio with the casting of Robert with the notion of doing Iron Man as our as our sort of first thing out then the idea of the shared universe I was talking to somebody earlier today and and was was reminiscing about the the Monday after Iron Man opened and had a very successful weekend and we announced uh, Iron Man 2 and Thor and Captain America and the Avengers and for us that was really exciting and daunting because yeah. now we actually have to do it and figure out how to do it um and there were a couple of stories about it and certainly you were always at the at the forefront of 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 enthusiasm for it because you understood it because you understood what the comics were and what that could mean for the movies but no, almost nobody else did and i remember part of me thinking how come no nobody's really this is kind of a big deal what we're doing here nobody's paying attention to it and then i go okay that's fine i don't have to pay attention to it let's just do it um and now to see people uh, referencing that as uh, as models for what for what other studios are doing now is is nice is a sincere form of flattery. But again, we still have just grown up with the with the notion of keep the head down and just keep keep doing what we're doing. For the latest from Hitbix, visit hitbix.com or download the new Hitbix app on your Roku device.